Hello, hello. Hello and welcome to all my Nexus students. I hope you all are studying well and must be having good time at home. So now today we are going to start with the lecture number 5 of the chapter Sell the Unit of Life. So far in this chapter beta, we have discussed till one of the cell organelle, semi-autonomous cell organelle that is mitochondria. And now, today I am going to teach you the second semi-autonomous cell organelle that is chloroplast. Along with this, we are also going to discuss about cytoskeleton followed by ribosomes. So, these are the topics which we are going to cover in today's class. So, without any delay, let's start. See, students, so first we are going to talk about plastids, right? Do you have? Plastids? In your body cells, do you have plastid? No. Plastids are uniquely found in plants, euglenoids and algae. These are double membrane bound cell organelle which depending upon their function and color are of three types. That is leucoplast, chromoplast and chloroplast. Now, we are going to discuss them one by one but separately. Correct? So, meanwhile, we start with the types of plastid. Let's write what is plastids. So, these are first point. These are the double membrane bound cell organelle, right? What are these beta? These are the double membrane bound cell organelle which are Found in plants, algae, euglenoids, right? Third point, depending upon, depending upon beta, color and function, plastids can be of three types, right? They can be of how many types? They can be of three types. And what are those three types? Yes, they are chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. So now one by one, I am going to teach you about all the three forms of plastid, right? Chalo, let's start with it. The first we are going to study is about leucoplast. These are basically beta colorless plastids which are mainly responsible for storing. These are colorless plastids. The main function of leucoplast is storage of food, right? So they are mainly involved for the storage of food. Hence, depending upon the type of food they are storing, they can be of three types. That is, eluroplast, elioplast and amyloplast, right? Now, they are colorless. Why? Because they don't have any colorful pigments and they are richly found in roots, stems, depending upon wherever the food has to be stored. Like for example, if I talk about potatoes, then potatoes, they are underground stem modification. And potato is a plant body part. Hence, potato where food is getting stored, in them, if I check the, their cells, then their cells will be rich in which form of plastid? Leucoplast. Correct? So, they help in storage of food and they can be basically of three types. That is, eluroplast, beta, amyloplast and Elioplast. Right? Clear? Eluroplast means storing food in the form of protein. Storing food in the form of protein. Amyloplast means storing food in the form of carbohydrates, that is sugar. And elioplast means storing food in the form of 
फैट और ऑयल ठीक है राइट एवरी वन सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ल्यूको प्लास्ट सेकेंड टाइप इज क्रोमो प्लास्ट बेटा सी द वर्ड क्रोमो इट सेल्फ मीन्स कलर्ड सो दीज आर अनलाइक दैट ऑफ ल्यूको प्लास्ट विच इज अ कलरलेस प्लास्टेड बेटा दीज क्रोमो प्लास्ट आर द कलर्ड प्लास्टेड वाई बिकॉज दे हैव द पिगमेंट्स दैट इम पार्ट कलर टू देम सो दे आर रिचली फाउंड इन फ्लावर्स एंड फ्रूट to make them more attractive to increase their economic importance etc so these are colored plastic found in flowers and fruits some pigment names for example beta anthocyanin is a purple color water soluble pigment then carotenoids are yellowish colored fat soluble pigment Lycopene is a red colored pigment richly found in your tomatoes and carrot correct so they are found in flowers and fruits and what is their role make them attractive you know colors attract na if you have colorful flowers and colorful fruit you tend to you prefer to buy them and eat them because you find them attractive so yes they are responsible for making them attractive right yes or no everyone now beta before i start with the third type of plastid which is chloroplast let me tell you one thing all these three forms of plastid are actually interconvertible depending upon the requirement of plant cell plastids are formed like i told you that potatoes potatoes are the underground stem modification their main function is storage of food so which form of plastid will be more leucoplast so theek hai now if i talk about unripened mangoes which are green in color why are they green in color because in them the cells are rich in chloroplast now when the time comes when they ripe so color changes from green to yellow why so kyunki ab beta wo fruit ripe ho chuka hai because of which the form of plastid has changed from chloro to chromo so depending upon the requirement these plastids are found in different parts and they are also interconvertible right so next point here only you can add all three forms of plastid are interconvertible right yes or no all three forms are interconvertible you can convert them depending upon the requirement now let's talk about the most important form of plastid that is chloroplast so first i'll be drawing the beautiful structure of a chloroplast and within that structure only we will try to understand the details of it so you have seen that this is a form of a plastid hence how many membrane bound two membrane bound so basically beta it is also a double membrane bound cell organelle having outer membrane and inner membrane right yes the space between the two membrane is known as intermembranous space theek okay? hai then the space which is present within the inner membrane this is known as stroma kya kehte hai isko this ground substance is known as stroma correct now beta this stroma consists of point shaped disc shaped flattened structures called thylakoids correct now thylakoids are beta present in the form of piles heaps one above the other so heap is known as grana 
which are interconnected to each other right so they are interconnected to each other with the help of stroma lamella also called as fret channels correct now this stroma similar to that of mitochondria also consist of its own double stranded circular dna and 70s ribosome so they have 70s ribosome plus they also have their own double stranded circular dna theek hai yes or no got my point this is how beta a typical chloroplast looks like their color is green why why are they green in color because they are rich in pigment called chlorophyll and due to the presence of chlorophyll beta these chloroplast have the capacity of trapping light they trap sunlight they convert it into chemical form which is food this whole process is known as photosynthesis and this is the main job of chloroplast that is to prepare food by the process of photosynthesis correct yes or no yes well done so what is the function of chloroplast what are you going to write they are responsible for performing photosynthesis they perform photosynthesis how by simply trapping light by converting light energy into chemical form by trapping light energy and converting the light energy into chemical form so these are the three important forms of plastid i hope you all have understood them now proceeding towards the next important topic that is cytoskeleton beta how will you define cytoskeleton cytoskeleton are the minute proteinaceous filamentous structure found in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cell right which are only found in eukaryote not in prokaryote remember this thing very very important question can be asked that cytoskeleton are they present in prokaryote or eukaryote so your answer will be only eukaryote kya kaam hai wahan par unka so these cytoskeleton they are mainly responsible for providing support strength helping in motility helping in cell division lot many functions are performed by them actually there are three types of cytoskeleton doing specific jobs like microtubule microfilament and intermediate filament theek hai so how will you define cytoskeleton what is cytoskeleton beta these are the minute proteinaceous filamentous structures found in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cytoplasm responsible for different roles right thumbs up chalo kya likhoge beta these are the minute proteinaceous filamentous structure beta found in the cytoplasm of of eukaryote found in the cytoplasm of eukaryote responsible for different roles like motility number 1 second apart from motility they also help in cell division third providing support to the cell right 
then they can also help in uh, cell division support motility and many more functions like uh, uh, yeah one more you can write is like uh, muscle contraction relaxation like for example they also help in maintaining the shape contraction relaxation maintaining the shape etc so so many other functions performed by different cytoskeleton and how many cytoskeleton do we have yes there are three types of cytoskeleton now let's discuss all the three types of cytoskeleton one by one and the first one that i am going to discuss now is microtubule okay clear yes or no well done beta so microtubules are basically hollow unbranched proteinaceous cylindrical structure made up of 13 protofilaments ma'am what is protofilament okay wait ma'am will explain everything but first write this point okay so microtubules are actually hollow unbranched filament or unbranched cylindrical so these are hollow unbranched cylindrical structures right made up of 13 protofilament them oh, they are made up of how many protofilaments beta they are made up of 13 protofilament and what is this protofilament so for this you have to start from the basic now you know microtubules they are found in the cytoplasm of eukaryote ma'am kyu eukaryote mein hai kyu nahi prokaryote ke cytoplasm mein hai so the reason is beta in the eukaryotic cytoplasm there is the presence of a special protein called tubulin so first thing what you are going to write is in eukaryotic cytoplasm beta there is a presence of a special protein called tubulin protein first thing right now this tubulin protein is used to make up the basic unit of microtubule called alpha beta heterodimer so this tubulin protein they join to form alpha beta heterodimer right they are used to make alpha beta heterodimer which is actually the basic unit of microtubule right now there are so many such microtubules present in the cytoplasm now all these different microtubule beta sorry all these microtubules they join with each other to form a long chain of such units and now this chain is nothing but your protofilament theek hai clear this is protofilament ab aise bahut sare protofilament ban gaye honge so 13 such protofilament students they join in a circular manner so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 
इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन सो ऑल दीज थर्टीन प्रोटो फिलामेंट्स बेटा दे जॉइन विद ईच अदर फॉर्मिंग अ होलो सिलेंड्रिकल अनब्रांच्ड स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड एज माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल सो दिस इज योर माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल वॉट इज माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल इट इज वन ऑफ द साइटोस्केलेटन विच इज मेड अप ऑफ ट्यूब्यूल प्रोटीन दट ज्वाइंस टू फॉर्म प्रोटोफिलामेंट एंड देन थर्टीन सच प्रोटोफिलामेंट फॉर्म दिस स्ट्रक्चर नाउ दिस माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल इज देन यूज टू मेक डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर इन साइड द यू कैरियोटिक सेल लाइक सेंट्रोजोम बेसिल बॉडी सीलिया फ्लैजिला एंड अकॉर्डिंगली इट्स फंक्शन आर डिसाइडेड करेक्ट Now remember, beta, this tubulin protein is basically a non-contractile protein. It does not contract and relax like your myosin and actin. Correct? Got my point? Chalo. So now we are going to study the structures which are based upon these microtubules. In short, I am now going to teach you the functions of microtubule in making different structures. So now here I am going to tell you the functions of different microtubule. Beta, the first is in the formation of cell organelle centrosome. right formation of centrosome now centrosome is a unique cell organelle found in animal cells these are non membrane bound and represented by two perpendicularly placed centrioles so what you are going to write for centrosome yes these are first of all non membrane bound beta uniquely found in animal cells third helps in cell division fourth point they are represented by two centrioles placed perpendicularly placed perpendicularly correct and now see how they looks like so these are the two centrioles right this is one centriole and this is another centriole they are placed perpendicular to each other surrounded by a fluid surrounded by a fluid no membrane present this fluid is actually known as centroplasm and these two hollow cylindrical structures are known as centrioles no membrane present and this together makes your centrosome whose job in animal cell is to help in cell division correct these centrioles are actually beta made up of microtubule now you have to study in your syllabus you have to study the detailed structure of this centriole that how microtubules are used to make this centriole theek hai chalo ab dekhte hain hum centriole ka kya structure hai so centrioles again they are made up of they are made up of microtubules right which are arranged in 9 plus 0 manner where 9 stands for 9 sets of triplets on the peripheral side i'll draw it with the help of a diagram to make it more clear <clears throat> and zero means center has no microtubule center no microtubule rather in the center there is a protein based hub 
right overall when you will see the structure of centriole you will feel like a cartwheel like structure so basically the diagram of centriole gives a cart wheel like appearance ab ye kaise hoga chalo isko zara draw karte ho fir samajhne ki koshish karte hain let's draw it and then let's try to understand it right okay so now here i am going to draw the diagram of a centriole which is not surrounded by any membrane rather there's a fluid center is your hub which is proteinaceous hub right and periphery is occupied by nine sets of triplet microtubule 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, like this. Okay. And how do you label from inside to outside? A, B, C, 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 like this. Right. clear now beta all these peripheral doublet triplets are connected to the hub with the help of radial spokes so this is your hub these are your peripheral triplets microtubule triplets and they are connected to the center with the help of radial spokes not only they are connected to each other with the not only these uh, peripheral triplets are connected to the center but they are also connected to each other with the help of linker made up of nexin protein and that is known as ca linker so like this you have to draw so there are nine ca linkers connecting each triplet to each other so these are ca linker again protein based which protein specially you have to write nexin protein now this is how the overall structure looks like and this is i hope you all either you feel like that this is a star shaped or you feel like it's a cartwheel so you can either say a star shaped structure or giving a cartwheel like appearance the most important thing is that yes it is non membrane bound koi bhi iske around membrane nahi hoti hai instead of membrane it is surrounded by a fluid which you can represent in the form of satellite like this the satellites of fluid around it is known as massules correct yes or no So I hope you all have understood the simple diagram of centriole. Now, once the diagram of centriole is done, these centriole beta they not only help in cell division, which is their prime function, they also give rise to bodies called basal body. What are basal bodies? Basal bodies are basically the origin point of motility organs like cilia and flagella in a eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell mein beta ye jo hamare hai na they are the origin point right so next you are going to write is that centrioles beta give rise to basal bodies same arrangement that is 9 plus 0 and from basal body arises your cilia and flagella so cilia and flagella in case of eukaryotic are tubulin protein based are made up of 
Now you know in prokaryote they are made up of flagellin protein, but here in eukaryote they are made up of tubulin protein. They are made up of microtubule. However, the arrangement is nine plus two. Clear? Yes or no? I hope you all have understood it so far. Chal. Ab bari aati hai. What is this nine plus two? Nine plus zero to aa gaya samajh me. पर यहां पे 9 प्लस टू का क्या माजरा है सो so, बेटा ओवर हियर 9 स्टैंड्स फॉर 9 सेट्स ऑफ पेरिफेरल डबलेट करेक्ट एंड सेंटर इज ऑक्यूपाइड बाय पेयर ऑफ माइक्रोटिब्यूलर डबलेट Correct. Now let's try to see the diagram and let's try to understand the structure. So basically, beta, first of all, they are not non-membrane bound. Rather, they have a plasma membrane surrounding them. So this is my plasma membrane and it's a solid core inside called as axoneme. Now the center is having a pair of doublet not a pair of doublet, two microtubule connected to each other and surrounded by a central sheath. So this is the central sheath. This is the bridge. And these are my doublets. Central doublets right followed by peripheral nine sets of doublet again one two three four five six seven eight nine okay how will you label them a b a b a B so like this you are actually going to label them radial spokes are also present over here connecting all the peripheral doublet to the central doublet so again you will have how many radial spokes yes nine radial spokes apart from this all they are also connected Peripherally, but this time with the help of AB linker, beta. It's AB linker. Made up of same protein that is your Nexin protein. So, this is how the overall structure of locomotory organ cilia and flagella looks like in a prokaryotic cell. ठीक है, right? Understood everyone? चलो, very good. Now we are going to proceed further. This is all about your cytoskeleton, which is there in your syllabus. But two more cytoskeletons are left. That is your uh, <clears throat> microfilament and intermediate filament. So first we are going to discuss about them, and then we will start with ribosomes. Now the second cytoskeleton is microfilament. Just remember two, three points, nothing more. Beta, microfilaments are not hollow. Rather, they are solid. Unbranched. Right? So, microfilaments are rather solid. Unbranched. Proteinaceous structure. And uh, they are also uh, cylindrical. Which help in muscle contraction and relaxation. Right? So, these are solid, unbranched, cylindrical protein structures. Which protein? So, this time they are made up of contractile protein that is actin and myosin. Right? 
they help in basically muscle contraction and relaxation so they help they are, they are found in your muscles apart from this they also help in pseudopodia formation so main functions are They help in pseudopodia formation. First point. Second, then they also help in cytokinesis of animal cell. How I will teach you and I will teach you the next chapter that is cell division. Cytokinesis of animal cell etc. Now, Moving towards the third type of cytoskeleton that is intermediate filament. Right? Intermediate filaments are only found in case of nucleus. So their location is nucleus. Then second point they are made up of Non-contractile protein that is lamin. Correct. Third point is what is their main role? Their role is to support the nuclear membranes. They give strength and support to the nuclear membrane. That's it. So these are the different types of cytoskeleton. I hope you all have understood till here. Now proceeding further with the next non-membrane bound cell organelle which you have almost have an idea that is ribosomes. These are also called as protein factories made up of RRNA and different sets of protein and found in both prokaryote and eukaryotic cell. However, their nature is different. Very good. So now next heading is going to be ribosomes. First point, they are non-membrane bound found in both pro and eukaryotic cell right but you know their nature is different then these are made up of rna and proteins correct there are two types you know it 70s and 80s correct 70s they are uniquely found in so where are they uniquely found beta they are uniquely found in prokaryote made up of two units larger 50s, smaller 30s. Right now, this 50s is actually made up of special type of RRNA that is your. 23s rrna and proteins 30s is made up of 16s rrna along with 23s it also has beta 5s rrna plus protein here 80s has two components that is 60s and 40s. 60s is beta made up of 28s rRNA, 5.8s rRNA and 5s rRNA plus different sets of proteins. 40s is made up of 18s rRNA plus different types of proteins right clear now these ATS beta they are rich in more amount of protein they have 60% protein and only 40% RNA 
whereas 70 percent is just the reverse 70 rna is just the reverse they have rna and protein in the ratio 60 is to 40. what is their main role their main role ribosomes they mainly they help in protein synthesis hence they are also known as protein factories kya kehte hain ko inhe kehte hain protein factories but do you really find that rna alone is capable of synthesizing protein no rna beta they are get associated with mrna so ribosomes plus mrna together is known as polysome which help in protein synthesis and for the attachment of ribosome to rna chain beta special iron is required magnesium iron so if the critical concentration of magnesium is maintained which is approximately 0 0.01 molar then only ribosomes will attach on mrna and will help in protein synthesis lekin agar concentration is se kam ho gai then ribosomes will detach so protein synthesis all depends upon the concentration of magnesium ion right so that's it for ribosomes i hope you all have understood all the topics that have been taught to you so far now your uh, few topics are only left the major one is nucleus right and a little bit about of uh, micro bodies also so nucleus which was discovered by robert brown is a double membrane bound cell organelle and uh, which was found in all eukaryotic cell except some like mammalian rbcs and mature sea tubes so all these topics we are going to study in our next class till then you all have to study by your own now hope you all have enjoyed the today's session a limited one and only a few portion is left from this chapter soon in our next class we will also start with the new chapter that is cell cycle and cell division right so keep watching Thank you for watching me. See you in the next. Till then, bye-bye everyone. Take care.